He seems gaunt, but in good spirits. Alexei Navalny even cracking jokes and a smile in these first public appearances by the Russian opposition leader since arriving at this Arctic penal colony, where temperatures have plunged. The reality of prison is that it is a very cold place. Do you know why they take newspapers there? To cover up. Because, I'm reporting to the court here, it's much warmer to sleep with a newspaper, for example, than without it. And you just need this newspaper to stay warm. It's as if the Kremlin's doing everything to make Navalny's sentence, last year extended to more than 30 years, as miserable as possible. Conditions at the remote Polar Wolf colony, where he was secretly transferred last month, his family losing contact with him for over two weeks, a notoriously tough with dark, freezing winters. <laughs> 2021, state-controlled Russian television was granted access to the colony where long-term inmates, including some of Russia's most notorious criminals, work in Spartan conditions. Navalny's supporters, concerned for his welfare, say it's far harder now to monitor his condition. It is uh, in the north, uh, so it is very cold there, and even today, uh, the light there is for two hours per day. So, I mean, um, the conditions... Uh, like the environment conditions there are much worse than they were before in Vladimir region that is close to Moscow. Uh, so from this point of view, they definitely try to isolate Alexei and to make it more difficult to access him there. But his previous treatment, Navalny says, was harsh too. The opposition figure, his head shaven, telling the judge his 10-minute meal breaks were simply too short in which to eat. I get two mugs of boiling water and two pieces of disgusting bread. And I wanted to drink this boiling water normally and eat this bread normally. But in 10 minutes, I must choke on this boiling water. And this is done solely to prevent a person from eating normally. But inevitably, Navalny's complaints against the Russian prison authorities were dismissed by the court. But one of the Kremlin's fiercest critics there seems little but hardship ahead 